what's going on YouTube, Ryan here. I'm back. I was in Dayton, Ohio this past about week or so uh, with the drumline at my school. I'm in there and we went to the World Championships competition at a good time. And I uh, came home to some mail today and also show you what I got in Dayton. Uh, where's my, okay, that's covering that up. Uh, they did have a card shop in Dayton, kind of a card shop, sports memorabilia shop. And they had some 8x10s marked down to four ninety four or er, yeah, four ninety five each. So I paid 15 bucks for all three of these. This is Jerome Simpson, signed 8x10. Former Bengals wide receiver, free agent now, but made probably the catch of the decade. It was just flip into the end zone. It's, that's not it in the picture, but that was a cool catch. Kyle Orton in a Purdue uniform. That's pretty cool. I got a COA, but you know I really don't trust that. But who's gonna forge a Ky who's gonna forge a Kyle Orton signature? I mean, really? All right. So I think that's real. And then this is Travis Prentice, who played for Miami, the Ohio team. And he has a record in there, a 78 touchdown NCAA record. I described it with number 41. And I think this is saying that this picture is touchdown 55 of 78. So that's pretty cool. Paid 15 bucks for those. Now moving on to what I got in the mail. Big old fan pack, TTM, and a smaller fan pack. Let's open it up see what we get. First, coming from the Southern League team, double A team for my Chai Chicago Cubs. The Tennessee Smokies, oops, I'm going to show you my address there. Sent them a message and they said they could send me some pocket schedules, as Tennessee Valley would say. And I said that's fine because I get to see the Tennessee Smokies play this year at the end of the season playing the Wahoos. And I would love to get them to sign something for me, like these pocket schedules. Alright, so let's see the pocket schedules. And there you go. I'm not sure it was on the cover there. But yeah, that's it. Just a pocket schedule. Thanks to the Smokies. Definitely get those signed by guys. If I can figure out who that guy is on the cover, that'd be cool. Now, coming from Orlando, Florida. I know what this is. A TTM success. Coming from Universal Studios. Question mark. I actually talked to a guy at Universal Studios. Emailed him. And he sent me an address I could. And... I told him about me and why I want it, that I collect autographs, and I wanted his autograph, and if I could send to him somewhere, and he gave me an address at Universal. This is cool, guys. You're going to like this. This is Mr. Steve Jason. He is the executive chef at Universal Studios, and this is just really cool. He's like the big man there. He makes the decisions. He comes up with a lot of the recipes. I've been to Universal before. Love it. And he described it with great food rules. Steve Jason. Have fun in life. Chef Steve Jason. 4-16-2012. And it's smeared a little. It doesn't get better than this. Steve Jason. How cool is that? And that is really cool. And let me explain this photo for you. He is the inventor, for those of you that have been to Universal Studios, the Harry Potter world. He invented the recipe for the butterbeer, the modern day, real life butterbeer. Butterbeer is a thing in the Harry Potter books. But he came up with the iconic recipe that they serve at Universal. Now, really awesome. You guys need to, if you ever go down there, get a butterbeer. It tastes like a cream soda with a lot of foam and it is just great. So this man, and I've eaten at a lot of the restaurants at Universal, really nice stuff. So, Mr. Steve Jason, thank you ever so much. That's really cool. Love this photo, too, of Islands of Adventure. All right, so that is a really cool success. Got to talk to him in the email for a second. and that, for Not for a second. I talked to him in an email, and he was a nice guy, and he sent me the address. Thank you. Now, coming from Dayton Professional Baseball in Dayton, Ohio, which where I just came back, this big old package coming from the Dayton Dragons minor league baseball team. I've told you guys about these guys before. Uh, team, ooh, guys, my camera's gonna run out. Let me just, let me, uh, get some more memory. I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I've used my memory card this weekend out in Dayton, so, you know, uh, running out of space, so I had to clear up some up. Anyway, this is coming from the Dayton Dragons, the single-A team for the Reds, and I've told you guys millions of times before, the Wahoos in my town now are the double-A team for the Reds. And last year, I sent the D D Dragons a fan pack request, and I told them about this new team and whatnot, and they sent me a Dragons hat and shirt, and I've worn that to the Wahoos games, and a lot of the players have gotten a kick out of that because they used to play for the Dragons at one point. Jim Riggleman, actually, was the first guy to compliment my shirt and hat uh, when I met him that first night, that first practice I went to, so that was cool. And I met a lot of the Dragons players, and I sent them an email again, and I thanked them for the awesome fan pack they sent me last year, and I asked if I could get some... 
uh, you know, Dayton Dragon stuff to get signed by the players, uh, like pocket schedules or photos or something, because I told them I like to do that. And uh, they've outdone themselves again, and they sent me a package, you know. And I really appreciate this, so uh, let's see what's inside. I'm really excited. The anticipation is killing me. Very shocked to see this. I was just expecting maybe some pocket schedules or something, which are cool to get signed. I wish I have gotten signed, because they sent me pocket schedules in that last one, and I got those signed. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. They just outdo themselves. My goodness. Wow. My goodness. Is that it? Yes. My goodness. We have, this is brand new. This is different than the one I have. Another Dayton Dragons uh, professional baseball team t-shirt. That is cool. A cool hat, snapback. It says Dragons on the back. And it says Dragon Dragons Lair right here. That is cool. And would you look at this. This is their mascots. Heather and G or Heater and Jim Bobblehead. My goodness. Wow. Wow, would you look at that. That is too cool. These guys are really, really nice. I'm glad. Uh, ooh, let me wipe some of these peanuts off. My mom will kill me if she sees all these. Anyway, I'm really glad that the Reds organization are here in town. And I'm glad I have built a relationship with some of the uh, Dragons, former Dragons players here in Pensacola. I can't wait to see more of them come up. So, wow, this is a really cool uh, mail day to come back to. Let me show you all the stuff I got again here. That is awesome. Dayton Dragons, thank you so much. You guys are class acts, and I thank you for sending me two awesome fan packs throughout the years. Also, thanks to the card shop in Dayton, Ohio that I went to. Thanks to the Smokies for the pocket schedules, which I will definitely get signed. And thank you to Mr. Chef Steve Jason from Universal Studios. Alright, that is just awesome. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. Glad to be back, guys.